In this video, I'll show you how to use Agent Force to find unified profiles in Data Cloud. And this is Agent Builder, where we'll build and test our agent. We're going to be simulating being an employee of a hotel chain. And what I really need access to is not just the data in the Salesforce CRM system, but also the data ingested into Data Cloud from sources like Azure, AWS, and Google. To do that, Agent Force needs to know the unified profile ID of each guest at the hotel so that we can then use it to query across those related data sources. So let's start by asking our agent for or to find the unified profile for a guest at the hotel, which is a contact at the moment called Winnie Moiler. So Agent Force will do its best to find an action that can help answer my question. And we've given our topic some standard actions it can use. It looks like it's given us a fairly generic Salesforce record. It's successfully identified the topic, identified the ID from the name I gave it, and then used the standard action get record details. But what I really want to know is what about the actual ID from Data Cloud, the unified profile ID? So again, Agent Force will try and find an action to help, but in this instance, it can't. So to retrieve information in Data Cloud, I really need access to that ID. So let me show you what I mean by using Query Editor in Data Cloud. When enterprise data related to individuals or guests in our case is shared with Data Cloud, each source of data is mapped to a common schema. In this case, an individual, because we're talking about people. So let's query the individual object to see the net outcome from ingesting data from two different sources. Here we can see that Winnie Moiler, the guest that we've been using, has two records. One corresponds to information from Amazon S3 and one corresponds to Salesforce. They both use different unique identifiers. As a developer, querying across their related data would mean I would have to know that these IDs are in fact the same person. Identity resolution allows Data Cloud customers to find the same individuals and link them under a unified profile. After an identity resolution job runs, you can query the output. So here we can query the unified individual object for Winnie to see that based on the rules we set up, we've identified that Winnie is a unique guest. Here you can see that we've assigned a unified ID to Winnie's record. And this is important for developers since it's going to enable us to query across connected data. So let's look at the graphical view of data in Data Cloud. The graphical view highlights the data related to an individual that would be useful to make available to Agent Force. Once we've unified an individual under a profile, we've now got access to all the connected information. We can do things like query for reservation information from Amazon S3 or email engagement data from Marketing Cloud. These source systems might have identifiers that are different, but the unified profile ID gives us something we can federate a query across all of them consistently. And it's this ID we're going to make available to Agent Force using an Apex class. So let's head over to Visual Studio Code. This is an Apex class that we're going to use in an agent action, and it has two variables, invocable variables, one for the input, which is the Salesforce record ID to search for, and one's for the output, which will be the unified ID that we're returning from Data Cloud. We have an invocable method. We've called it identify unified profile by ID, but all it does is simply takes the Salesforce record ID we pass in and then runs a simple SQL query using a Data Cloud data model object. And it's used just like any standard object in Salesforce, like accounts and contacts. We just pass in the Salesforce record ID to search for, and it will return the unified record ID from Data Cloud. Once we've saved and deployed, we can now use this in an agent action. Let's create the agent action together. Let's click New. We'll select Apex as the action type. And then we'll see our new action that we created in Apex called Identify Unified Profile by ID. When we click Next, we'll see the instructions, inputs and outputs are already populated because we specified them as part of our code. All we'll do is say that the unified ID from Data Cloud needs to be shown in the conversation. And then we'll click Finish. 
Now we have the action, let's add it to our agent using Agent Builder. Let's add the action to our existing topic. We'll hit New, Add Asset from Library. Let's search for our Identify Unified Profile by ID. There it is. We'll select it and hit Finish. So our topic now has new actions. So when we re-execute our question, find the Unified Profile for Winnie Moiler. Agent Force will now reason across the actions and it now has some new information. So the plan in the middle is now going to show that it still uses the same topic as before, the guest management topic. It needed to identify a record by name. It needed to do that because it needed to find the Salesforce record ID. That was the input to our custom action here. And the output, once it's queried data cloud using a Sockle query in Apex, we then get the unified ID for this guest. And that's what we see in Agent Force on the right hand side. By itself, not particularly impressive, but we now have a utility action that we can use to do more advanced queries across any connected data source to a guest in the future. And that is how you use Agent Force to find unified profiles in Data Cloud.